Welcome uh, to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we look at uh, the last of a volcano in St. Vincent, uh, the evacuees and uh, many more. Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button, uh, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like uh, this one. Yesterday, we uploaded a short uh, clip uh, showing you what is going on on the countryside. Here you see, uh, before the volcano erupted, uh, there was a sea defense uh, project uh, going on in the Georgetown area. Uh, so, uh, men from the Georgetown area was employed with that company. Uh, but uh, guess what happened? Uh, when the order was given uh, to go back and uh, clean up, what did you think that company do? They hired outsiders while the men uh, from the Georgetown area were in the shelters. Uh, so now, uh, these men are going home uh, thinking uh, that they would return to their jobs. Return to what uh, jobs? Uh, their jobs are already taken. Uh, some of these men had loans and so forth uh, to pay for. So the volcano erupted, which was not uh, their fault. But because they are in the shelters, uh, they were laid off. Uh, there was one guy in uh, particular uh, that have some kids uh, that the welfare took away. And he was trying his best uh, to get her back on his feet, uh, to make progress in order to get her back these kids. Now when he go back up, what would he return to? Nothing. Uh, well, as to some, uh, some don't even know uh, that they were replaced already. Uh, so the company uh, could not uh, put out like a public broadcast, for example, notifying the guys who used to work uh, there that work is going to start uh, back. Imagine uh, being unemployed, your home is destroyed, you are going uh, back empty-handed until uh, they say that they would give you some kind of payment. Uh, the big sea is still on. We had some flooding and we had a volcanic eruption. And uh, now uh, these men are going home to nothing uh, that is going to lead to more extreme poverty. Is there a workers union in St. Vincent? that can stand up uh, for the guys in the shelters who lost their jobs. And it's not like uh, the guys did not want to come to work. It is not like uh, they are late or anything like that. Or uh, they did anything bad. All they do was evacuate when the evacuation order was given. And uh, now uh, they are returning because the big man said uh, that you could go in that area to clean up. Uh, but uh, to their surprise, uh, they won't uh, be working again. What are they uh, going to tell the financial institutions that they owe? Uh, plus, uh, you know, some institutions don't uh, play. You can't even owe them for one uh, month. Uh, bailiff is at your doorstep. How are they going to explain it? Uh, some of these men even uh, pay child support. So I hope uh, that the family courts has leniency and the government uh, can provide a package uh, to meet up with what these guys had to pay and uh, give it to the mother because they are not able again to feed their family. Uh, you see, uh, something what I don't like uh, that is going on in St. Vincent. Uh, now, everybody is saying yes, a lake is up at the volcano. If not for Desran Rodriguez and those images, uh, no one would know that a lake was up uh, there. Uh, the same uh, Mr. Rodriguez uh, that you guys called uh, names and said, put him in prison. Uh, the credit uh, that you guys were given to Mr. Robertson should have gone to Mr. Rodriguez. You know why? Because Mr. Robertson was using information from Mr. Rodriguez and you saw that for yourself. He was commenting on another man's Instagram videos. Means he was looking on and using that to make a judgment. Uh, Dr. Stinton has said from the satellite images he saw a lake. But uh, that wasn't said until Desran Rodriguez showed us those pictures and those videos. Uh, Dr. Stinton, uh, do not cover up for anyone. Continue telling the truth. Uh, don't uh, make anyone try to twist your words and spin you around you here. Eh? Uh, same ones uh, that are saying weaker policing were the same ones who had rallies last year uh, with a mass gathering. You see? 
when it is beneficial to them, uh, they don't speak about it. But when others are doing it, uh, that's the time uh, they want to come out and uh, play. They are talking about it. Uh, before uh, those rallies last year, you knew the consequences. You knew the rules and you still went ahead and had those rallies. And uh, now you understand why persons have uh, mixed uh, feelings with taking the job. In all honesty, uh, we took uh, the job. It gave a mild uh, fever during the night, uh, but by morning everything was okay, smooth and dandy again. Uh, but it won't be the same for everybody because everyone's body is built uh, different. One of the main reasons though, it is because uh, some countries are making it uh, mandatory in order uh, for you to travel. Uh, then it have some people who would uh, say, I'm not leaving uh, this country, so I don't have to take any job. Uh, but uh, because some countries are saying uh, that it is mandatory, uh, the guys who are going to pick fruits, uh, do different things and so forth, uh, they would have to take it. Uh, some of them uh, don't really want to take it. But because the country is so hard, filled with extreme poverty, uh, they have to go abroad to look work. You see, when you really sit uh, back and look at the situation, it is a sticky one to discuss, you know. Uh, some persons uh, might tell you, uh, don't take it, it will give you side effects. Uh, but you might say to yourself, uh, they are not going to provide my breakfast, lunch and dinner, I have to go abroad to work. Uh, but you see, if the big man was listening uh, from the get uh, go, we would not be in this position today. Uh, do you remember when it had some voices telling him, when the persons come into quarantine, you have to provide security to make sure that they don't leave the facilities. Uh, we as Vincentians also has to take uh, the blame. You know why? Uh, because you guys were coming in uh, to quarantine like for one night and you guys were still running away. Uh, then uh, one night uh, turned into several days, uh, then it turned into 14 days, and uh, now it turned into taking job. It have some persons who might say uh, the big C is not real. But I saw a video in which a guy was showing what happened to him when he got uh, the big C. The man said he could not even walk uh, properly. And I have visited uh, some areas, like some apartments, where there were persons with the big C, uh, but they could not come outside. Uh, the rules were simple. Uh, sanitize your hands uh, properly, wear your mask, and uh, practice social distancing. Uh, now, uh, because the rules are being uh, broken, uh, they are saying take job to go outside. As far as I see. Just like this big C uh, does not have an end to it. It just continues, continues, continues and we are tired of this big C man. We are tired of wearing facial uh, masks. When you go outside you have to be looking all about. Looking over your shoulders. You don't uh, know who is who. Imagine uh, being in a country. Uh, never travel uh, to go anywhere. To get nothing and bring it into the country. Uh, then uh, someone brings in the big C. And uh, right uh, there you go into Dovecat. Uh, so you see uh, why we stay far from that topic uh, because everyone would have uh, mixed feelings about it. Uh, the loss of Ray Volcano in St. Vincent is still under a state of unrest, says Dr. Stinton. He needs uh, to put some equipment in some areas and he needs to put a piece of equipment at the summit in order uh, to tell you if it is safe or not. Uh, so, uh, the residents who have returned uh, to the red zones under the big man's order, remember, uh, Dr. Stinton told you uh, that he isn't able to make a proper judgment as yet uh, because some of the equipments got uh, damaged. Uh, so, if it erupts again, uh, don't uh, say uh, Dr. Stinton never spoke uh, the truth because you have ears, you heard it yourself from him. With uh, that uh, being said, I just want to big up the entire population of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and uh, praying for us. We thank you. I'm out. <laughs>